Congratulations, Rafa, on the Madrid chapter of your career. How much progress do you think you've made over the last week? Good. I mean, thank you. Uh, have been a positive week in all ways. Uh, I say it in Spanish, but it's true in terms of uh, body feelings. I was able to play four matches, a couple of tough matches, and the body. I mean, body. Some muscles are tired now. Uh, I felt that on the match, but hold it well. So have been a, a very positive week, winning three matches, playing four matches at a high level of tennis. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy it a lot playing at home and uh, I live here with uh, with a very positive energy in all ways. Si hablas alto te escucho también. Um, Rafa, when you came here a week ago, could you have dreamed of playing this well? And now that you have, does it make you feel optimistic you can keep going quite a long, not too long, but in the future? <laughs> I don't know how long, but uh, I'm going to try to play in Rome. That's another very special tournament in my career now. I think I, I don't know, I won 10? Yeah, yeah, 10. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of emotions there too, so I... As I dreamed is to play all these tournaments that I had success one more time. No, I missed Monte Carlo, unfortunately. That is one of the most special for me. But uh, Rome is, is one of these ones that I, I enjoyed a lot playing there. So I want to go there. I'm going to try. And I want to play well then. I want to play well. I want to be competitive. Uh, I want to give myself a chance to, to play good tennis. And I'm going to keep working hard to try to make that happen. I mean, uh, today is an emotional day, of course. Today is an uh, is unforgettable day in terms of uh, saying goodbye. Uh, Madrid, that is uh, one of the places or even probably the place that I received more love and support uh, during all these years. Mm. But my career keeps going, and I have my personal goals the next, the next couple of weeks. And uh, I want to explore if I have any chance to, to achieve that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias, chicos. Of course, it's, um, it was a tough match today. I mean, uh, I don't really know what to say. It's a um, dream come true for me to, to share this kind of stage with, uh, with Rafa, you know, on clay in Spain. Uh, <clears throat> if I speak about the match, um, it wasn't anything easy, you know. I mean, uh, Rafa proved this week that he again has the level to compete on on Masters level. And uh, from what we saw against Alex Temeno back in the week um, and some other moments during his matches, it was just uh, proof that uh, he was able to produce some of his old school tennis, but uh, of course uh, I was just trying to focus on myself and uh, trying to, to play my game, to focus on things I want to do, and uh, it went well today, yeah. Uh, uh, Giri, you, uh, you are from a country that has great champions. Thomas Berdig was there, but uh, we remember you last year in Davis Cup against Spain, so your game suits Madrid because 10 or 15 lines you got today with serves. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> I mean, uh, uh, for me, the crucial moment about getting used to these conditions was last year, you know, because last year when I came here to Madrid, I didn't feel good, you know. It was new for me. Everything was uh, kind of uh, all over again. So uh, when I got used to these conditions last year, even also I played very bad here last year. Then this year I came here with some kind of experience to know what to expect because Madrid is very, uh, let's say, uh, it's, it's different than other clay court tournaments. So I kind of knew what to expect. I, I knew that uh, it will be difficult to, to prepare well, but I managed it. I, I worked hard during the preparation week uh, to get my rhythm on court and um, every match. I felt like I'm improving, and today I, I showed that uh, even in some crucial moments, I was able to produce good tennis. 
Hi, congrats. Um, you practiced with Rafa um, a few days ago. Of, obviously, it's different uh, practice and match, but do you feel like he improved a lot in these past few days in terms of movements and tennis-wise? Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, when I practiced with Rafa a couple of days ago, it was uh, our first meeting on court in, like, ever. Uh, we were supposed to practice last year a couple of times, but uh, unfortunately he he cancelled the practices because of uh, health issues, which is totally understandable. Uh, so this year <coughs> and uh, here in Madrid we managed it to, to practice together. And I think it was new for both of us. I mean, we never faced each other on the other side of the court. Doesn't matter if it was practice or a match. So this week uh, we managed to go through both. And uh, I think it was very important to me to to at least share the curve with him before I went straight to the match because his game is very specific, you know, and uh, on clay he is a player like no one else. So uh, for me to have a chance to practice with him was uh, was good for me in terms of finding the timing of his shots, trying to, to get used to the rhythm he's trying to uh, create. And uh, I think that he, he took it the same way. Uh, we knew both what we are heading into. And today it was totally different level than we produced on the practice. We both played much more better. And uh, of course, I mean, match is totally different. Uh, you are trying to win, you are trying to give everything. And uh, in the end, uh, it was me who was the happier one today. So I'm very happy for that. Congratulations. I'm curious, just how do you prepare yourself for going into a, a massive stadium where almost everyone is cheering against you? And yeah, what did you draw upon in that match to just f focus on yourself? Yeah, uh, <coughs> that, that, that's a good question because I don't really think that there is any, any way how to prepare on this, uh, for this, because, uh, you know, some f the moment in the last game of the match, which I experienced, where there was 13,000 people, you know, screaming Rafa Rafa and cheering for him almost like all the time is something uh, I've never experienced in my life and I doubt that I will experience this kind of thing ever again. So for me it was very important just to focus on myself. I kind of do this trick that uh, in my mind I try to create like illusion that they are cheering for me. Because, I mean, that's the only way how to, how to deal with it. I mean, if you start to think about that, and if you start to think about uh, there is 13,000 people, everyone is against you, no one wants you to win this point, then you don't really need to be there on the curve because you already lost. So uh, that's, why, that's why I try to focus on myself, on the way, uh, on, the, on the things I try to do in the next point. The way I want to toss on my surf, and all this stuff, because uh, you need to get this thing, get these things away from your mind, somehow. Somehow, uh, every player has different techniques. Every player is doing something else. I'm doing that. I'm trying to imagine that they are cheering for me. So yeah, that's that's the way how I try to to stay calm in the last game. Hi, Giri. Congratulations. Uh, I don't know if you saw Kachin. Uh, as to Rafa, the, the shirt, uh, I wonder if you ask uh, him something uh, from his last match here in Madrid. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I <clears throat> Maybe, I don't know, it's, it's tough for me to say, you know, because I went on the court to win, you know. And when you go on the court and uh, you go there for the win, then um, it's tough for me, you know, to, to run after him and to ask him for some things, you know, if he can give me something, you know, because I don't really know, I don't want to sound disrespectful or something, that's the last thing I would like to, but, uh, you know, if you are playing a match and you are thinking about asking the guy to give you something, then, I mean, why we are there, you know, it's, it's kind of weird, in my opinion. I mean, everyone can have its own opinion on this thing, I totally respect what Pedro did. I mean, it's absolutely fine for me. I mean, I have no, I had zero problem with it. But for me, I would not do such a thing. I would do this maybe after the the whole tournament. After I don't know 
when I see him somewhere, just asking for a photo like I did after our practice. This is what I did because, of course, I, I didn't know if I would have a chance to play with him again or if we will play a match together. That's why I asked uh, Rafa to, to take a picture with me after our practice earlier this week. But if we, sp we are speaking about him giving me a T-shirt, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I just didn't, I just don't go into a match with these kind of intentions. And I'm maybe just, I just have different approach in this thing. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.